Hi children, a very good morning. I hope you have completed your workbook and understood yesterday's topic clearly. Let's go to today's topic, the second group of animals, that is amphibians and reptiles. Amphibians spend a part of their life in water and the other part on land. They have a moist skin which help them breathe. Frogs and salamanders are amphibians. Amphibians lay eggs. You have the picture of amphibians below. Most reptiles live on land and have scales on their bodies. Most of them lay eggs. Tortoise, snakes and lizards are some common reptiles. The next group of animals is vertebrates and invertebrates. Some animals like spider, crabs and cockroaches do not share the physical features of birds, mammals, fish, amphibians or reptiles. These animals do not have a backbone as birds, mammals, fish, amphibians and reptiles do. Animals that have backbones are called as vertebrates. Here is the difference children, make sure that you remember. Amphib animals that have backbones are called vertebrates and animals that do not have a backbone are called invertebrates. Spiders, crabs and cockroaches are some examples of invertebrates. There are many animals which are invertebrates in the world than vertebrates. So here we end with our lesson. So let's mark all the important keywords that we have in this chapter. Take your pencil, move to the first page and I will be marking the words here with you. So the first word that we have is distinct. The next word is scientist. After that, we have the word called as mammoths, sparrow, minor, penguin, ostrich. Next, we have the word dolphin. Let's move to the next page. On the next page, we have the keywords amphibians, reptiles, salamanders, and next, tortoise, lizards. The next page, we have vertebrates, invertebrates, spider, cockroach, and here we end with our keywords. Let's move to the glossary and understand the meanings of few words. The first word that we have is distinct. What is distinct? Clearly different from others. So it means difference. Invertebrates, animals without a backbone. Vertebrates, animals with a backbone. Before we end this chapter, let's move to the workbook. You will have to complete all the, the next two pages and complete the lesson. So here, the questions that we have are animals with a backbone. The first question, what physical feature is common to the animals in the first row and not found in the animals of the second row? Here is the first row and here is the second row. You should be understanding what are the common features in the first group of animals but not in the second group. Next, what physical feature is common to a fish? What kind of animal is given in the picture? You will have to recognize the picture here. Is it a fish, a reptile or a mammal? What do you say so? The next, we have a list of vertebrates here and a list of invertebrates. Can you find the backbone of invertebrates is the first question. Apart from backbone, what are the other differences between vertebrates and invertebrates? This is an interesting question and you should be finding an answer for it. Is a mosquito a vertebrate or an invertebrate? How can you be sure? Here 